Good morning guys. It is morning. It is Thursday morning. Or it's actually not that much morning. It's actually 10 to 1. I've been a... Oh... I've been awake. I've been open. I've been awake since uh, it's 10 to uh, 11. So not that long. Um, I kind of like, yes, this morning I'm going to... I'm going over to Moose. Yeah. Uh, I need to get a few things for packaging, for my packages uh, that I'm running out of, like bubble plastic. I need to get um, different kinds of envelopes. Um, when it comes to like sending like needles and, and one needle minder or something, I actually make my own envelopes to send those away because I wanted them to have a little bit of a thicker paper. I wanted to be able to know that they don't rip in the mail. And um, it's hard to find thicker envelopes in Sweden that is affordable because you have either the thin ones that you just put a paper in or you have the elaborate one which comes from expensive cardstock so it's like that middle part finding those envelopes that is thick enough not to tear when you fill them with a little, little bit of things um, but thin enough to actually don't cost that much because uh, the uh, padded envelopes are both they are expensive they're very expensive pre-padded envelopes but also they weigh a lot because they have this thicker cardboard cardstock for them which is really good when I got a little bit of a bigger order but when they are the smaller orders I need my own but yeah the I need to go out and get a whole bunch of those brown ones uh, to be able to get my little bit bigger order and then I have even bigger orders that needs to go into plastic padded plastic envelopes of some sort there's a lot of those things. So I really need to get out and get those. Um, I need to go out and get batteries for our little... Uh, we have a laser pointer to the kiddies and it has run out of batteries. So we have to go and get that. Um, and I want to get a couple of small bottles. Uh, I got these really cute glass bottles from um, the same store that I'm buying all my uh, package material. Um, and I can kind of dilute the color there. Um, I kind of figure, starting to figure out that I, one milliliter of the color is when I my dye baths aren't that big, so I have to dilute it even more. Um, so I need to be able to have these little bottles for that. So I'm gonna go and look for uh, my little bottles um, and a few things of that. I actually woke up to a lot of sweet comments from all of you guys, which warms my heart enormously. I'm re really feeling sometimes you need to get things out there because you feel so alone in your little bubble and just writing it to people saying hey i'm not feeling good it sucks but i do believe that this is going to end sometime um just getting it out there can help a lot and then the kind of response that i've gotten on facebook uh, in private messages and such um it's enormous and it makes me so warm in my heart and um, makes me very very happy a friend of mine that i haven't really had contact with for a couple of months um reach out through sms and it warms my heart very very much it makes me happy because sometimes you sometimes life is is tough it's um none of us are machines so that makes me made me a lot of a lot happy and I was wishing that I could have gone out uh, to Moose earlier because I hate it when the whole day goes by aka I need to get up earlier in the morning I just can't get out of bed because I can't sleep um, but uh, when I took my meds to mo this morning I started to feel so nauseous I usually don't get that nauseous from my meds I think I get an, got an upset tummy from uh, the new meds I'm on, which I only take on Monday nights, but they will trickle and they will make my tummy not so happy. 
So, <laughs> so um, I decided I needed something in me, so I have a cup of coffee and I needed to let it everything just... And it took two hours. But I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna change my pants, but I'm... Yeah, that also, I'm gonna see if I can find there's a clothing store that right now having all these commercials of um, like pajama pants. And last year I bought my pink pajama pants at um, Old Navy and they are so comfortable and I just love them and I just want more of them. But uh, the postage, I can order from um, Old Navy but with the postage and everything it's really expensive and I don't have the money um, but I could buy just a pair of pajama pants so I'm gonna go and see if they, the store uh, is in Moose and if I can get a pair of pajama pants because I want a pair of new comfy ones um, after a while they get a little bit tougher in the fabric sort of um, and also I, I do have like I have a couple of pairs and I don't sleep in them I only have them as like cozy pants when I go around at home um, because they're like uh, sweatpants can be a little bit too thick and also all the sweatpants I have right now is too small because I uh, have for about I think the last year I've been going around like I am going to lose weight So I'm not buying any new clothes the clothes I bought when I was uh, in the States are actually for my weight So those actually work great But all other clothes that I bought before are for a weight that is about five to ten kilos smaller than I am so I Have to kind of deal with I probably won't go down five to ten kilos probably will stay this weight but yeah all right now I am going to head out so good morning guys I hope you have an awesome day I just got home and this is what I find Gizmo in his box this box is way too little for this big kitty this is showing how kid kitties really are liquids and not animals oh I just heard something I think I have a kitty up there. Look, there's a kitty up there. Yeah, I had kitties here. They were waiting for me to get home. Look, he's, he's getting up and he's tired. Yeah. Well, as I said, I am home. That took actually less than an hour, which was quite nice. I think I actually went on the same uh, bus ticket, hopefully. We'll see. Um, but, um, which made, made it pretty good. Uh, I We have like bus cards where you can preload. You could both preload like a month in advance. So you have this monthly card and then you can uh, go with your bus and train as much as you want for a whole month. Uh, but as I'm sick now, I'm not going to work every day. So then it's not economically to load one of those ones. Uh, but I do have a certain amount of money on the card that you, you can have money on your card and then you just pay per trip and if the trip takes less than an hour then you can go on the same ticket back and I think that actually was what happened because it's not that not that late it's just 14.22 and I think I left here 13 so either I went on the same ticket or I just missed it but it's okay it's just too two tickets so it's not that expensive either but yeah um, I didn't go and get new pajama pants they had the store but I it was on the other side of the Galleria and I really in the mall maybe I would say in the mall and uh, I didn't feel like going there but instead I actually went into a bookshop um, I was going, I had decided that I was going to buy some po uh, Posca pens, which is, uh, the white ones are awesome. So I wanted to buy two of those uh, in two different thicknesses because uh, I've been watching Mr. Bookie on YouTube. It's actually a Swedish 
female and I've basically been watching her art for a pretty long time and I think I have watched all the way from her first YouTube video and when she had like 10 subscribers or something it's kind of cool um, but she's this really awesome artist and she uses these she mixes pencils uh, markers and watercolors and also Posca pens for all her white details she use Posca pens so I wanted to get some of those and I want and the is craft store uh, is just one store further down than the bookstore so I went into the bookstore and I got some um, store things I got like a book that where, where I'm gonna list all my uh, shopping and all my selling and see because I haven't done that and I am going to need to do my own bookkeeping and that is probably should be done for 2015 uh, that should be done sometimes like January, February and I thought I was supposed to, uh, or I'm actually supposed to kind of every month tally everything. I even should tally everything uh, for every order I send out but I haven't done that. So I got one of those, uh, uh, just a thin simple book so in the future I'm probably just gonna print sheets of it um, and make my own kind of books. It's totally okay you don't have to have these specific books uh, but um, it's good to have one for the first time I also got a um, project tracking book for my new heaven and earth design that I'm starting together with my new little uh, video series that's coming up in uh, between Christmas and New Year so yeah those were little things and then I went to the, uh, the I was supposed to get batteries for the uh, laser pointers. Sadly, they didn't have those batteries, so I just needed to. So I got all the packing materials instead, um, or that I also was supposed to have. And I found, actually, I found uh, bubble wrap packages that was a little bit cheaper than the usually ones, and it actually I can use them. So I got those, and I also got uh, the plastic bag plastic uh, envelopes and stuff like that so really awesome I got everything I needed I didn't buy any more bubble wrap but I kind of realized um, I can take that another day I have enough for a little while so that was awesome so that was my shopping not much shopping but good enough shopping did get a gingerbread latte because Starbucks is awesome and, and um, every time I go to Starbucks I always have a specific person in mind, you know who you are, and um, I kind of missed her, her, she hasn't commented in a while, and I'm like, where did she go? She might not have, she might not look at my videos anymore. I know I'm one of those persons that sometimes I look at someone very intensely for months and years and then I just stop watching because I forget or something, but yeah. I have a very special person in mind every time I go to Starbucks. Uh, so yeah. Now I'm going to, I think I want to edit a craft video that I want to get up today, if I can. And when that is done, I am going iron fabric. That is my to-do list. I need to have it in paper form, like a to-do list where I can check things off and feel better about myself. As you hear, I'm in a much better mood. And I think it is because I kind of figure out why I was down. I didn't really understand. I knew I had reasons, but I didn't know the specific reasons. And by talking to you, I kind of figured it out. So I'm feeling a lot better now. But yeah, midday update. I am going to head to bed, but um, I have been semi-productive. I did iron all the fabric and I've cut it down to pieces uh, tomorrow I'm going to need to sit down with my sewing machine and sew all the edges um, serge I think it's called serge all the edges I'm using some fancy um, kind of stitch on my sewing machine because I don't have a serger or, or anything yet so that is what I'm going to do tomorrow, but I'm also going to be able to meet my sister and brother. Uh, they uh, are going for lunch. We'll see. I'm probably 
will and they they are uh, going to meet up for to shop in the mall in Scandinavia, and that being so close, it takes me like fifteen minutes to get there. Um, we kind of said that I might come come by and, and have lunch with them, which uh, is awesome. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I really like my siblings and. Um, I'm really growing closer to them. We don't talk a lot, lot, but we talk a little bit more than we have done in the past, and it feels awesome. It feels really, really great, and I hope that uh, that is going to continue because I like that. I like being close to my siblings. Finding that again is it's very important to me. My family is very important to me. Um, um, so, I'm really happy about it. Um, and then, another fun thing. Uh, one of the things I love doing is like IQ tests, um, strange sudokus, uh, stuff like that. Stuff that ha you have to think about. And when I'm in this health issues, I got cloudy brain issues. Uh, but uh, so far, the cognitive uh, tests that have been done on me, from a psychological point, says still shows basically the that my smart showed through. You can see that I have the intelligence, uh, but it takes me longer to do stuff. And because of that, I kind of want to, I'm trying to do stuff that is a little bit more IQ needy because it's fun and I have to think about it. Um, and, and because that will kind of uh, help me use my brain muscles. But um, a friend of mine uh, shared in, in uh, the Facebook chat that I'm sitting in, uh, one of these things, uh, something the UK government had put out, um, this card that you could play around with, and then uh, what's the result of it is a QR code. And if you don't know, a QR code is those strangely black boxes that like have three, three square boxes and then a lot of different pixelating things and basically what it really is is a binary way of, of um, showing uh, an email address or a, a website or something like that so uh, she shared this the link to this it was uh, in one magazine uh, online magazine I shared it and I kind of yeah this I'm gonna try so I kind of I actually did it directly onto a um, gridded paper so I actually draw it from the mobile phone because I don't have a printer connected to my mobile phone but anyway um, you can print it out and stuff so I've did, done that I'm not full finished but it's starting to be late and I could probably sit up all night and I know that fresh eyes it probably finish it much close better when I'm not super super tired uh, but I really really love them. It makes me really happy to do them. I don't know what it is that I need kind of a, a equal amount of thinking and creative and Just sitting and coloring makes me depressed Just programming makes me depressed. I need something in between uh, I need to have the uh, the energy and opportunity to use both my so I brain both my brains uh, I think they say that creativity is one brain half and a logic is another and I, I need to use both to be sane basically and I'm, I'm, I've done that tonight really really nice thing well I'm gonna head to bed so um, I want to say that I really really love and appreciate you guys really really love and appreciate you guys so, good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye.